I didn't want to get too far ahead without uh, giving you guys an update. I just got out here and uh, pulled everything off that I could pull off. The windows are in great shape. Of course, all the badges. The skin's dirty, but it looks fine. Back window looking good. I think all of the lights, the running lights, I think, are going to be just fine. I think there's really more damage on the inside. i got to find the door. I thought I had an access door. I'm not sure. I'll have to look in all my old parts. And then I took the door out. And even everything around the door looks great. All of the trim around the swoosh looks great. Even underneath, as you know, underneath the door... It never really looks all that good, but that's all there. So, uh, got all the windows out. And that's where we're at so far. Like I said earlier, you've seen me build a Scotty, but I'm gonna take the time to answer some of the questions in a video form that I've gotten pretty regularly. And one of the, a lot of the questions I see, even on other YouTube sites is how do I get those aluminum nails out of the J-rail? If you call them aluminum nails, you're being very kind. They're the devil's nails. Do not go back with the devil's nails. They are a terrible, terrible thing. The devil will make you think that they're good and you should go back because they're original. No, no, no. That's the devil tricking you. Don't do it. Go back with some number six, three quarter, inch or half inch stainless steel screws your life will be better the next person that works on this their life will be better here at rob the rebuilder world headquarters we do not let anything go out with the devil's nails in it and i'm going to show you a few ways to remove the devil's nails all right i gotta get this j rail out i'm going to show you just using these two tools right here the easy ones. The easy ones are easy to get out. We look at this one up here. That's simple. It's already halfway popped out. We're just gonna nice and easy. Because these aluminum nails, the head will come right off. That's what part of what makes them the devil's nails. See that twist on there? That's a terrible, terrible thing. But that one came out easy. That was super easy. That almost doesn't even count. But if you look at this one, it's kind of out a little bit. So we can't really use our little tiny crowbar, but we can pop this screwdriver in here, just kind of ease it out. Because like I said, it will definitely, the head of that nail will pop right off. So now we got it popped out. I think that's enough that maybe we could jam this crowbar on here and we could pull that out. So those are, those are the easy ones. Let me show you one that's just a little bit harder. This one right here, we can't get under it. I mean, we could, but then we'd be scratching this up and scuffing it up. I don't mind some scratches. I could get rid of that with steel wool, but I don't want any gouges. I want, this is in great shape. Look at it. I mean, I, I'll shine this up. It'll be great. So what I have to do on this one is I've got to carefully take my drill and I've got to stay right on the head of this nail and I got to start slow, very slow. And I gotta adjust my positioning because it's gonna wanna, it, it's, it's rounded out, so it's gonna wanna move on you. So this is just about the same size as the head of the screw, but I wanna make sure I don't go so far that I create a giant hole in here. I just wanna take the head of the screw off, or the nail off. A little more, just it kinda, there, it's off. So I could probably take my screwdriver, go in here, and there you can see it. It popped right out. And I don't care if it stays stuck in the wood. We're not reusing this wood. You know we're going down to the frame. So those are really the three different ways that you can remove the devil's nails. But you got to be careful because the devil's out to trick you. As you can see, peace, love, and kindness has prevailed. We have got rid of every last of the devil's nails. And look at how nice this looks. If I just have uh, some triple lot steel wool and a green scouring pad, this will shine. It's going to be beautiful. 
This uh, skin on this looks good. This J rail looks good. We'll replace it with some stainless steel screws and uh, you can't hardly see it, but the skin's ready to come off. So we're gonna get busy on that.